Hey guys, and welcome to English Shooting. I had a bit of a brainstorm with uh, Alex and Connors the other day, and basically there's so much that goes on in the gun shop that I just don't have time to get the proper rig out and film and put together a proper video. So we're gonna try something a little different and a very rough vlog style. Uh, so I thought we would start today because there's a number of things within the gun room that are fairly interesting and intriguing um, and Connors is uh, over on the gun bench at the moment fettling around so let's see what he's up to. So then you're tinkering away yep. with holsters what, what are you up to? Uh, so these are some Chinese copies of uh, double alpha holsters that someone got for me and uh, I plan to run them in an action air match this weekend. I am currently performing some modifications to allow them to stack side on, but to also mount as low as possible. So I've just finished doing the actual modification, hence the bits of aluminium dust everywhere. Um, I'm actually just setting them up now for the magazines I plan to use. Um, see how it goes. I've got no idea if these are going to be any good or if they're going to work, but... I mean, it doesn't take you long, do you? You get something new and, uh, and exciting and you get the Dremel out and files out straight away. Well, let's face it, it's the reason I started Magdard is no one else seems to get it right first time. <laughs> <laughs> but also you've got these as well to sort of, you know, the, the double alphas are undisputable. They're great bits of kit, but they are very expensive. Um, so it's interesting as well to see, well, you're interested to see well, how they compare. I, having seen a real double alpha holster, I have to say, there is no comparison in quality between um, these and the originals. Just to get magazines to slide in and out normally, um, they, needed constant, they needed deburring all over the inside before I even started modifying them. Um, and as, as always, the Chinese copying market will kill us all. Do support your local... Um, your local retailers. Another good bit about um, using these Chinese thingies is I can hack and slash them apart, uh, learning how to modify them for customers, because we have had that requested of us recently, um, without worrying about damaging a 50 pound holster. Absolutely, so I'll leave Connors there tinkering away. I'll show you some of the other cool stuff that we've had in recently, starting with this Calibre Innovations Double R. Uh, and we talked about it recently on the live stream, uh, it's a very interesting gun to the market because it is, I'd probably say from new, as Calibre sells it, it is the most competition ready gun out there. The port cut on it, we've been doing some uh, loading practice in the gun room with it. The port is really, really nice and that's how it comes from standard from Calibre. And then you have uh, all of these colour options. So obviously the colour scheme on this one is, is green, but they have a whole host and choice of colours. So you can't really say a lot more about it at the moment because, well, Connors hasn't had a chance to go out and shoot it and see what it's like, but it's around the, I think, seven, 800 pound mark. So for a gun out of the box, ready to go uh, and win competitions, that really cannot be beaten. So yeah, we'll do a full video on that uh, at some point in the future. So, we have our, our very messy work area um, with all of the, the Pepsi, Coke and Huel bottles that you like. Um, in terms of what I'm working on at the moment, loads of stuff. I've got a video going out uh, probably tonight actually as I film this, which is about section one, section two uh, shotguns. But also recently, and the full video coming out soon, I'll see if I can bring it up there. Went and visited the uh, Oxford Gun Company. So. Uh, it's well known due to the, the TSC channel that they, they have and the competitions that they run um, and obviously uh, David Florent hosting those videos uh, and he was very kind enough to, to take us out, uh, explore the grounds, give us a nice tour uh, and even a little bit of instruction with him as well. Uh, so it's a, a, a great time. Really nice guys, their uh, whole team are absolutely fantastic and the, the facilities there were really, really good. You can see as well, loads of Maglode stuff being born, all products uh, going out, uh, well, ready to, to go out, so just packaging those up as well. So it's all busy, busy. Another new addition to the gum room, uh, moving over to more the, well, where the guns are over here, uh, is this new stock. So it's a form rifle stock for the Remington 700. This is Alex's personal Remington 700 in 308. And we actually went down and watched this stock being made from a blank 
uh, piece of wood. So it's uh, incredibly good looking. I think it really does set the rifle off uh, to the point where Alex is actually looking at having the, the scope painted to, to match and sort of really elevate it even more. But I think it's incredibly good looking. Again, a video will be going out on Gumroom TV about how they make the stocks, uh, the attention to detail and the craftsmanship uh, or craftsmanship that goes into to building something like this, but absolutely awesome. Uh, I've been working with form rifle stocks for a number of years. They've been very kind to me uh, and to you guys. I've given away prizes before for giveaways. So give them a thumbs up, go and check them out. They've got loads of really cool stocks and products for a variety of guns. And actually talking about giveaways, uh, I'm gonna be doing a full video on this, but we have hit 20,000 subscribers uh, on the channel and I wanna repay uh, all the support and all of the kind messages that you guys give me in, in terms of just subscribing or thumbs up or the lovely comments. So we are gonna be doing an epic giveaway. I'm not gonna give too much away um, in, in what we're going to give away, but I can tell you there will be a gun to win. Um, I think maybe some optics. Uh, and some other swag. And actually talking about the other swag, uh, a group that I've mentioned before is the World Gun Owners Association. And Paul uh, from that group has very kindly sent over some bits for the giveaway. And I'll show you what he's, uh, he's sent over now. So some genuine official World Gun Owners Association swag. So we've got a hat, uh, some can callers, some dog tags, uh, sort of key rings, got red and black there, got a selection of those, these will all be up for grabs, um, and some t-shirts, luckily in a variety of sizes, some nice polo t-shirts, fairly understated as well, I know it says, you know, World Gun Owners Association right there, but you, if you catch that at a glance, you're not necessarily going to think it screams of, uh, of guns, so perfectly acceptable to wear down the pub, uh, and also, uh, he very kindly, after telling him of our love of biltong, sent us some biltong. And no, he didn't send us two bits. This bag was full at the beginning of the day. Uh, uh, we just ate it all. So a big thank you for Paul for sending that down. Again, we'll be doing a full video on how you can get your hands on the swag. I'm gonna be contacting a lot of people to really make it the most epic giveaway that I've ever done on the channel. So keep an eye out for that. And again, thank you to everyone that subscribes. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. But everyone that already has, thank you very much. And this will be a, a small way of repaying that. But there we go, just a quick update of things that are going on in the gun room. I want to try and do this as regularly as possible because really just there's just new stuff every single day here. Let me know what you think of this style of video. If you do want to see more, anything behind behind me that you want to see covered in, in sort of a quick, rough way, um, I'm happy to, to go over anything you want. But yeah, I just want to be putting more content out the chat on the channel, uh, engaging with you guys more, showing you uh, more of what we get up to. So make sure that you like this video, make sure that you've subscribed if you're not already. Uh, thank you very much for watching and as always guys, hope to see you soon.